Um, and you can find all our past sessions out there on the interweb at farmvirtualconnections.org. Um, Brianna Lane, you did, I think, our very first Tech Talk. I mistaken. probably did. <laughs> because we're like, who do we know in our community who knows a lot about this? Stuff? <laughs> uh, I think you dove right in uh, using StreamYard after doing some investigation. And um, I rewatched your earlier StreamYard thing, and it was great. I have a lot of questions, by the way. Um, <laughs> but um, we're really glad that you're willing to do this next deep dive. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I could say a lot about this woman. She's a powerhouse in the music community, Minneapolis's own Brianna Lane. Take it away, girl. Hi. I, <laughs> yay, I see some highs. Um, uh, so, StreamYard, here we are again. Um, I was just going to do a quick overview of, um, in case folks weren't here to see the first um bit or haven't watched that uh bit that i did for our first tuesday tech talk um quick overview i'll share my screen with y'all um because i find anytime i'm adventuring into a new platform that just seeing it first helps me feel like i'm not going to make a mistake or if i do it's all going to be okay <laughs> um so i'll do a quick overview and then do mostly um question and answer today because I assume a lot of you folks have taken um, a, a dive into StreamYard or at least signed up for it and are ready. Um, so I'll do lots of question and answer if you have it. Um, and then I'll, I'll also go over some tricks. Um, I might take a little bit of a side, um, like a, a, a little bit of a diversion into Canva, just like a tiny bit. Um, uh, but uh, I promise I won't go too far down that rabbit hole. That is um, maybe another tech talk. Maybe it's just, um, I don't know what it is, but um, it's uh, something I use in conjunction with StreamYard. So that's why I'm going that way. Okay, so first, a uh, really quick overview. StreamYard is a streaming um, studio. So it's not a destination that you go to to watch shows. It is a destination that you go to to make sure shows get out there into the world to other platforms that are um, that are, you know, people are already watching things on. So it's not like um, it's not like what are the names of some of those, you know, um, oh, my gosh, I forgot the name of the big one. Uh, Facebook. <laughs> well, no, it's, <laughs> well, it's not like any social media, that's for sure, but it's not like, oh, like Stage It, you know how Stage It is a destination that you can go to stream from, but it's also a destination that you go to watch. Um, StreamYard isn't a destination to go to watch, it's just a stream from, it's just a studio. So um, let me share my screen here, and um, mm -hmm. here we go. So here we are. I'm in Safari. Um, you'll notice I'm on the top uh, left-hand corner. I don't recommend using Safari, but the only reason I am right now is just for a demonstration. So I recommend using um, uh, Chrome or, or um, there's a couple other services um, that uh, uh, servers that, that do better. Uh, but here I am in my studio. Um, I have no upcoming broadcast, so um, and the, how I got in here is I put in my email address and, I, and it sends me a code and then I have to put the code in and then here we are. And then I create broadcast. I decide where it goes and I've set up these beforehand, these destinations, Facebook and YouTube. Um, and I decide, okay, face, it's going to go to Facebook. I title it. I say the description. I schedule it for later. Um, I upload a thumbnail image. I'm going fast because I'm assuming that um, some of y'all have watched um, my first one. So upload a thumbnail image and then bam, it is posted. I schedule it, bam, it's posted. I could post it to, fa to YouTube at the same time. Now let me just show you, I set up those destinations beforehand. So um, over here on the left, there's the destinations, the Warming House Facebook page, the Warming House YouTube channel. And uh, a little deeper dive than I went before is that here is all the, all your, um, 
possibilities of where to send your video from StreamYard. So you can send it to a page, a group, a profile. Um, a page, the difference between a page and a profile is a page is kind of like your, you, you are a musician or you are a venue um, and that is your page. A profile is you are a person and, and you know, you post all of your um, cranky political stuff there if you want to. <laughs> um, and um, I just learned that if you're posting to a profile, um, you will want, StreamYard will automatically make that uh, so just your friends see it. So if you want it to be public, you're going to have to change those settings in Facebook. Um, and that's important. And I do recommend going to a profile if you're not a venue. If you're, if you're a musician, I, I recommend going to a profile and your Facebook page um, if you have the ability. Um, I'm, I was trying to find the answer to, the, to, to this. I'm, I think they just, StreamYard just upped the amount of pages that you can go to um, in your, your basic paid account. Uh, it used to be two, and now I believe it's four. I was trying to find that answer exactly, but, um, uh, and then if you're in the professional account, you can do even more. Um, so um, I do recommend going to two places at least uh, and, and changing those settings so they're public. Facebook, your Facebook profile is going to reach more people than your page is. Um, and you could direct people back to your page if you want to, but um, that's helpful. Um, so, and then a YouTube channel is kind of off the beaten path and, um, and it's really nice to have it go to YouTube too because a lot of people aren't on Facebook. Um, Periscope, Twitter, I don't know a whole lot about Twitter. Twitter is one that I ignore um, because the basic, um, the basic premise of if you're going to, if you're going to be on social media and you are overwhelmed by the amount of social medias there are in the world, choose one that you are good at and, and do that. Um, I have chosen two, uh, YouTube and Facebook. Um, and I'm stopping my share because I realize I'm talking to you like you can see me. <laughs> um, and uh, so, so yeah, I, um, I uh, do, 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 recommend two different places. Um, and, um, and then there are also uh, the ability to, um, I, I'm going to share it again. <laughs> it's coming at you. Share it to Twitch and custom RTMP. I wish I could explain this. Katie Dahl already asked me this and I knew I was going to get the question and I was cramming to answer this particular question. Um, but I don't know. Um, so what I did instead is I, as I said to myself, well, I think what this is trying to accomplish is um, is getting it somewhere uh, that is not listed in this, right? Um, and I said to myself, where would that be for me? Um, and oh, by the way, LinkedIn, I, I don't know <laughs> why you would use LinkedIn as a social media platform, but cool, whatever. Um, so, the, so I thought, you know, where, where else would it need to go? Um, and so I thought, oh, it'd be really nice to have it go to my um, own website, right? Or to my venue's website. Um, in that case, I would, um, I would simply uh, push it to YouTube. And then I would take it from YouTube um, and take the embed code from YouTube and put that into my website. Now that's easy if, if you know how to do that into your website. Um, it's just cut and paste the code, pick a destination and go. Um, and, uh, but that's not necessarily easy if you don't run your own website. However, if you say to your friend who runs, runs your website, hey, can you put this code in? It's easy for them to go get the code. You don't even have to go get the code yourself. Um, oh, <laughs> Katie says, I asked you that question and I <laughs> didn't mean to. Actually, Mark Smith also asked um, that question, RTMP. Um, 
Okay, this is where I'm going to interrupt for a quick sec. Yeah. All these questions I think are coming to you directly. So they just really are. And I'm, so and you can, gonna, that's great. Otherwise, I'm going to ask people to try maybe to ask them to me so we don't, it would be great. Um, but I also, I just think I want to chime in on the RTMP thing. Yes, please. I, the, my next question was to the group. Like, can anyone explain the RTMP? Because um, I'm guessing, but I'm only guessing because of our restream thing that we just did. So with what it did, it gave you an, I, I have a sneaking suspicion you could combine something like Restream and maybe some functionality that you don't have here, because Restream will give you those codes, will give you that um, stream URL and the stream key, just like Facebook right. would, but that's something that isn't directly connected. So I, I can't imagine right now in the top of my head why that would happen, but that's like grabbing a stream key from somewhere else and dropping it in as opposed to something that they can connect automatically maybe. So if anybody else knows the answer, I would. Yeah, and I'm so, and I, I apologize for not knowing. I'm going to share my screen again. Um, so uh, the RT, R, RP, RTMP, you know, you click on that and it says, um, you know, kind of what it is or what to look for. The stream key um, you may be uh, familiar with from other restreaming services, uh, especially OBS. And then a nickname is just, you know, like for your own purposes, for your own good. Um, so yeah, if you're not getting fancy, if you don't want to put it somewhere that it's like an oddball location or a way to link services, if you're just using StreamYard, um, and you're pushing to two locations, great. Um, I, uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend pushing to a ton of locations, um, because you, there, one good thing about pushing to a ton of locations is that you're reaching, you're potentially reaching more people that are on LinkedIn or whatever. Um, but you also want to maintain some sort of relationship with them too. So you're spreading yourself thin. If you're going to five locations, you, you might want to go back to those locations afterwards to uh, reconnect with these people. And that's a lot of locations. Um, and you, might want to train your audience to go to YouTube or go to Facebook or go to Periscope, um, and not and not necessarily expect uh, have them expect you to go exactly where they are. It's okay to have them, you know, train them to come to you. Um, so uh, the so that's you know real time messaging protocol um, and. And uh, that's what, um, sorry, <laughs> Annie had posted. That's okay. Um, and so, so that's again, the basics, like you choose your destination, you, you create the show and then you go into your broadcast studio um, and let me, oops, I keep thinking I'm sharing screen. Let me share a screen again. You go into the broadcast studio and, um, So here I could enter a broadcast studio from my past broadcasts. Um, oh, except for I'm on I'm on um, Safari. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna talk at you while I, I um, while I log in elsewhere. Um, so I'm gonna show you the back end. Um, they did increase. Uh, um, from when I was um, from when I was first streaming, they did increase the ability for more people to be on screen at one time, which is great. Um, and then they also uh, made it so that you can actually um, host from your phone, which is also great. Not totally recommended because you do want a really good in internet connection, but you know, if you're outside or whatever, um, and it's a beautiful day, why not, you know? Okay, so here I'm gonna um, show you the broadcast studio really quick, and then show you some kind of tricks and things like that. Um, Okay, now I'm sharing the broadcast studio for um, for the uh, street show thing, another 
another thing that I curate. So we have two shows that are coming up. I can enter the broadcast studio and then it gives you kind of a warning. Um, and now this is, this is the show for, um, this is the show for Anastasia Ellis. Now what I would do is I would send her a code to get in a little, just a little link to get into this broadcast studio. And she would see this at first, then I would enter the broadcast studio. And then here we are. I am here in the corner, um, kind of um, grayed out. That means I'm not live. Um, I do have to press go live up at the top right corner um, before I go live so I could be in the screen. Sorry, Brianna, I'm interrupting. Am I the only one who's not seeing beyond this page? Raise your hand. If, uh, all I'm seeing is still in the create a broadcast. We're not actually in your broadcast yet. Very bizarre. I'm going to try to share screen again. Is it yep. there? Yep. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. Um, so I put myself in the broadcast. I just removed myself because the audio will get weird. So I can put myself in the broadcast, anyone that I invite. So let me just really quick invite um, Annie here. Um, and I'll show you how easy it is to get someone else on screen. So all I'm doing, actually, <laughs> let's have fun with this. I'm just gonna, I just pressed invite and I copied and pasted here to everyone. Oh, just kidding, that's the wrong one. <laughs> to use link, oh man, fail. Okay, not use link, you don't want that. Um, but StreamYard, okay, StreamYard. Now anyone can click on this and see how to get backstage here. Um, you should, uh, you might pop up um, if you want to. Someone do it, please, because I want to illustrate. <laughs> Anybody? Oh, there's Annie. Okay, so see Annie there in the little, she's grayed out. Now, um, I am going to ask Annie to be very quiet because the audio will get weird. If not, I'm going to add her to the stream. Oh, there she is. And I'm going to add me right beside her. Oh, there I am. Ah, like that. I could do that. I could do... I could do uh, different things. Um, so any of y'all can click that link and just um, and come on backstage. Um, and 10 people are allowed backstage. Um, and you can see the, the backstage possibilities. Now I, um, I'm going to show you what's on the right hand side of my screen. Can you see it? The, where it says comments, banners. Hi, Katie Doll. I see you backstage. Um, comments, banners, brand. Uh, private chat and settings. Settings are very basic. Um, first clicking on settings, general, camera, audio, green screen, guests. Um, and I'm going to hop back up here to general um, because uh, StreamYard did add the ability to do high definition. However, if you're pushing to Facebook, you'll st it'll still be in 720. There's just too many people on Facebook. But uh, if you're pushing to YouTube, it'll go high definition. And that is 1080. Right there, full high def. So um, and that you'll need a really good um, uh, internet connection. That's the word. Um, private chat is really nice because I can go high. And then it'll go right to whoever's in the backstage. I hope you saw that, Katie and Annie. Um, and then banners. Um, you can uh, create a banner that goes, it's like, Folk Alliance is cool. Scroll across the bottom, add banner. Um, ticker, show. And then you have to show it. Oops, excuse me. So I could go in to this at any point in my show. Like, I'm going to put Katie in my show. Oh, just kidding. She went away. I'm going to put Annie back in my show. Annie's in my show. I could say Folk Alliance is cool. Yay. And then I could hide it. 
for a while because you know you might not want it to be seen all the time um this is all assuming you know we've already clicked go live and everything so just just letting you know that part uh the brand i love this um and here's where i might just take a little bit of a detour <laughs> um so the overlay okay sorry i'll go up to the top brand color this is nice you know um it i i don't use it this way um but you can change the color to something different so that things show up um oops so sorry um so sorry um you can change the color so things show up a little bit differently um but um what i really love is let's go back to brand excuse me is um oh by the way could did you just see how i i left the studio but annie's still around which is great so i can just if i'm hosting a show i could just be like okay it's on annie i'm peacing out right um which is great uh what i really like is the overlay or the logo so you can um you can put the logo in just kidding so sorry didn't mean to click that cancel you can put your logo in um or you can put the Streamyard logo in and it appears right there in the corner of the show it looks like the aflac duck is what i said before this here street show um this overlay is really lovely i like this here's my 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 diversion um if i want to create something like that it'll have to be a ping file a pi or png file and uh yeah but i just wanted to take a quick look uh, if I want to create something like that, it has to be a PNG. And what I do is I use Canva for everything. So, um, Annie, if you could put Canva in the um, in the chat, that'd be awesome. I'm going to um, log into Canva here and then um, kind of show folks what a PNG is, just in case they don't know. Um, and again, this is this is the second, you know, stream yard thing. So we're going a little bit deeper here. Um, I am going to uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to um, share my screen again with Canva. And here I am in a, um, still thinking, here I am in a graphic design, a free graphic design uh, studio. I won't stay here too long, I promise. Um, what I did is I pressed create new design. And um, this is just, this is just pretty cool. Like if it works, I don't know what's going on right now. Oh, here we go. Um, I don't have, what you would want to do is look up the dimensions that you want. Um, I don't have the correct dimensions here right now, but I'm just showing you what a PNG file is. Um, so that you don't take up your whole screen with an image, you just have a little overlay. So um, once this works, um, I'm going to choose, let's see, I'll choose some elements, right, over here on the left hand screen. I don't know, my computer's being really slow, so sorry. Um, and then I will pick some cool thing to put in the corner and hopefully this will all work out. Um, yeah, I think the side effect of uh, screen sharing is that it slows down processor speed also, yeah. so as you're sharing, but um, I can speak to the PNG file. Essentially, what you want is something that has some transparency. So, yes, exactly. Because otherwise, it's going to cover you. So, like, so right now, this, yeah. yeah, so this looks white, right? But really, um, we're going to download it as a PNG and then, and then upload it later um, onto, onto, see, PNG. 
down low. Um, and it's going to be slow. So we'll get back to that. I'll show you how that ended up. Um, because it's so slow, I want to just kind of pause here and make sure I'm going in a, in a, you know, with a good pace, see what, what questions people have, if they have questions. Um, if you're using uh, StreamYard and you have any um, insights or troubles, um, if you're not using StreamYard, um, but you would like to and you still need a reason. Um, ooh, here's another thing. So if you have any questions, please um, chime in. We'll get back to that PNG thing um, real soon. I'm not seeing any hands raised, but I do think I just discovered what one of our future tech talks is going to be on Canva. Yeah, totally. <laughs> you should do that one. You're a graphic designer. Uh, I might have some skills in that department. We'll see. But I, um, I was actually interested in a couple of things that you said early on so while others are oh i see a raised hand good katie's raising her hand but and, um, I, and I got a private question too so this is good. Oh, good but can you like when you talked about changing the settings in facebook to make it public to private mm -hmm. so do you is it every time you go live via Streamyard, you've got to go in and change that or do you just change it once because i know when you're setting up your your stream because if i'm understanding correctly i wouldn't normally have to go into facebook at all right that, but the step to turning it you know from just friends to public that's an interesting one for me right um it's it should um i forgot i just read it too uh, you should be able to, um, yes, you should be able to absolutely like all, like have it switched to always, um, just as long as you have some of your settings always switched to public. Um, you should be able to go in to Facebook and where it says um, in, into your um, kind of back end of things and where it says apps and websites. Uh, you can view and edit your settings and then make it public um, and save that setting. That should work. That answers your question, right? I think so, yes. Yeah. Um, find that. <laughs> what? I'll take Facebook. Yeah, it's kind of weird. To, it's, a, it's a weird one to find. It's the, it's the um, settings on your own profile, and then you go to... Um, to the left hand side of the screen and it's kind of buried down there. Um, and this is just for a profile. This is not for a page or a um, group. Um, pages and groups will automatically go to whatever settings the page or group is. So either privately to the group or at pages are public. So it'll go public. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, yeah. Dig in. You want to dig into Katie's question here? Sure. What's Katie's question? Um, we're going to let Katie ask her question. Where are you, Katie? You were here a minute ago. I lost you. There you are. Unmute yourself, my dear. Hello. Um, I am wondering, I saw when I was poking around that backstage area, uh, I saw an audio settings tab, and maybe you're about to get to that, but that was what my question was about. Um, before you leave the settings world, um, I saw that disable audio processing box and I wondered if you could talk about that. Yeah, it is um, an absolutely simple thing. Um, I can show you, um, excuse me, I can show you again. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, it's, uh, it's if you have a, if you have an external microphone, you, it, it's like, um, oh, Jesus. Sorry, I'm not doing this well. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, it's if you have a um, external microphone, you want to disable that, just like, um, just kind of like Zoom does. My apologies. Oh, here we are. Okay. Really, Brianna, 
<laughs> Anybody want to learn some Simon and Garfunkel while we're at it? <laughs> I'm having a little bit of an off day. <laughs> hey, at least it was a cool tune. Yeah, right. Can you see what all I have? Um, uh, yeah, it's a like marked up top. It's like songs, songs, and a roll off dumpster. <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, here I'll go into settings again. Excuse me. Uh, I'll go to audio settings. And this is what um, Katie is talking about. Uh, and internal apps and projector uh, default. Um, if I had a nice microphone, which I'm getting, yay, I would do disable audio processing, which would then um, did it uh yeah which would then um make sure that you're getting the full quality of of the microphone that you're plugged into and that's it um i found that if you disable audio processing uh while using an internal microphone it just makes everything really quiet and it's not optimal no i hope that answered your question yeah and then um mark uh sent me a question, um, how do you show chat comments, uh, which is great. Um, there is an advanced version that I won't get to because I don't use it. Well, I don't use it. Um, so I can't like speak to it, but, but it goes back to that. Um, uh, what was that? Um, RTMP business is like, Okay, if it exists on, on StreamYard, if you're pushing out to StreamYard, it'll come back to you and those comments will go back and you don't need to go to those places to make those comments. But you have to, if you're adding anything in differently, you have to tell the program what to do. So you'll have to know a little bit about programming to figure out how to get those chats to, to show up. Or, um, and then there's a help page that's awesome how, if you decide to embed the YouTube into your own website, the YouTube portion of this into your own website, you can also add code into it that shows the YouTube comments live, which is lovely. Um, but let me show you the comments section of this one more time. and something kind of cool about the comments as well. So if I am public and I don't want to actually do this, so I am going to, um, I'm going, because if I posted right here, right now, it would show up in um, there right now, even though I'm not live on StreamYard, it would show up in um, Anastasia Ellis's show wherever it's, parked. Um, so I don't want to post anything. But um, this is only going to YouTube right now. Um, but if it was going to YouTube and Facebook, you would see it up here on the right hand corner. And then I would post a comment and it would go right to both of those places. And anytime anybody comments back, it comes right back to here. And it will show right here. Can you see my cursor? Mm -hmm. um, It'll show right here whether it's coming from YouTube or from Facebook, which is lovely um, because then you can say something like, oh, someone on Facebook says do, 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 you know, and, and this is a, this is another thing. Like if you're going to use this as a, a venue, it's, it's, it's nice because you can monitor those comments and uh, you could just sit back, watch the show say, you know, do a prompt question, like, where's everybody tuning in from? And, and it's great. And those comments come and go. Um, and then, but if you're using it as a person, as a, as a musician yourself, you might want to have someone just hanging out backstage um, and making sure those comments um, get tended to, you know, um, just like if you're, you know, hanging out, um, you're just like if you're hanging out uh, backstage on the, on a zoom call, like we are, 
um, and Annie's sitting there monitoring the questions, you know, you want someone on your side. Um, if you, if you are a musician, just be a musician for a while. <laughs> um, I am going to post a comment here. Um, really looking forward to this show. I'm going to post that. It's going to go to YouTube. That's just fine with me. That it says chat, right? But I wanted to show you one thing that's really cool. Now, if I hover over this, I can say show and it actually shows up right here in the screen, which is lovely um, because uh, every once in a while we'll use this and say, if you want a tip, and so it'll show up here on the screen and then you can get rid of it. Um, also, it, anybody else who comments, um, I guess me too. Well, put user in timeout, <laughs> like a toddler. Or a block user. One one person was like on the comments and requesting Kanye West for like ever and ever. So I was like, okay, you are on a time out. <laughs> like they are obviously playing folk songs and not Kanye West. So I am not allowing you to comment anymore. <laughs> Um, so Mark, I think I got there uh, with your question of how to put the comments on screen. I think I just answered that. If I have not, um, that would, uh, yeah, just let me know. And yeah. Okay. Well, I got some legit questions here. Not that those weren't, I've got some questions. <laughs> um, can you, okay. So Louise, hang tight. I'm going to save your question because it's a little off topic. Um, but I am curious about the share screen functionality. Mm -hmm. So if you are in, um, you're the only person in there and you click share screen, can you, is it, is it take over your whole screen then, or can you split the screen kind of like you do now? Like, but can one person do that? So do you, can you demo that? Yeah, let's demo that. Um, the and I'm going to use you in this demo since you're there already. Um, uh, I'm going to move this over. Um, so you should have the ability. I'm going to add you to the stream. And again, if like the sound gets weird, sorry. Um, so there you are. And um, I have it set so that um, Annie's name shows up. Um, and then Annie should have the ability in the, the lower part of the screen to say share screen. Um, Annie, would you mind doing that? I or love you to took over my screen, so I, I can't see the studio. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, I have to share my screen. <laughs> Dang. Okay, so I, um, I'll just do it here. So, um, uh, let's see, screen sharing is easy. This is two monitors, blah, blah. I've never seen that screen before. It's fine. Um, application window. Hopefully y'all can see all this stuff. Chrome tab. Let's see. Let's just go home Canva. Oh. Sorry. Don't know what happened. I'm not sure what you're seeing right now. We're not seeing, we're seeing the little pop up that just came up where it says sharing Canva to StreamYard. Okay. Okay. So can you see that now? How that? Yeah. Okay. So I can, I can remove that and put it back easily, right? Yep. I can put you and I both in the same screen. Oh, cool. Oh. <laughs> that was funny. Um, I have you guys muted, or you and I muted now. So you can do that. You can um, have one person, you can have it be full screen. And those options are all right here. So now I'm full screen. Now two. Nice. Now one. 
So if I was uh, just a participant in this, like if I like, I can do this myself. Yes. As long as I'm in the window. Okay, that's cool. Pretty much anyone. And literally, I put that link in there so that anyone could go backstage right now. Um, I put that. Uh, let's see. I can do it again. So I go to the invite right down here. Mm -hmm. I click that. Copy it. Or copy the clipboard, whatever. Stop my sharing screen. I highly recommend that y'all just click that and see what it's like back there if you haven't already yeah. um yeah so and then you can you can see i don't have to allow you backstage but since i'm the host i have to uh allow you onto the screen or into the show that makes so, sense yeah so i'm backstage right now now that you're not sharing your screen and i can see the backstage yeah all I see is me. I don't see you. Right. But I can obviously share my screen. And so as the host, so as people who are hanging out backstage, but if you would put me in the show, then would I see you too? Only if I'm in the show. Only if you're in the show. Gotcha. Exactly. Um, huh. Yeah. And I honestly, I don't, I haven't used this in, with more than one person yet. So I don't know, like, if somebody else hops on, like, um, like, Katie, if you're still there, and if you could hop on that, that StreamYard code again, um, I'm curious to know if, um, if, if you can see Annie, or Annie can see you, or if you can only see yourselves. Um, yeah, I can share my screen, and then you can see what I'm seeing as somebody in the backstage. Yeah, that's awesome. You can let me in. I have to find it. There I am. So this is what I'm seeing. And all I see is my little self over here. Cool. And I'm not in yet. I can't do nothing yet. I'm just hanging. Can't. Um, and, and Katie is actually there. Um, but you can't even see Katie. So you can't see who's backstage. Okay. So me as host, I would, I would probably, you know, pop up on the screen. Let me... Um, let me pop up on your screen and I should be muted. So it's going to be fine. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Hello. So I'm, I'm on your screen, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe I am the host right here and I'm saying, you know, please welcome, you know, to the show, Annie Caps. Ah! And then here you are. Oops. I think I would rather see you like this. There you go. And then maybe I'd say, hey, how you doing? Um, uh, I hope, you know, you have a whatever, a good day, la, la, la. And then I'll, um, as the host, I'll say, okay, take it away, Annie. And then I remove myself. And you as the artist, this is what you see. And this is what you, you have to, to work from there. Um, and um, and then I could pop back up and say, you know, let's now hear from this person. So this is a, like a really excellent platform to, to host um, a multi-artist night or whatever, you know. And it's a really awesome platform to, um, to have conversations really easy, easily but also um, hear from the public. Um, yeah, um, I think it, I kind of touched on um, Louise Baker's question. Um, can you walk through how to sound check an artist and introduce them? So I kind of went through how to introduce them. How to sound check them is, is similar. Like, um, like I'll pop both Annie and I back up on the screen and I, I'll say, Annie, can you sound check for me? And she'll sound check, I'll hear everything. And then, um, and I'll say that sounds great. And really, sound checks are so silly right now because um, I just ask them, you know, I just ask them, so what are you working with? Are you streaming from your phone? Are you streaming from your computer? Uh, you know, or do you have an external microphone? And, and having done this so many times, I know, I know that I don't have any real control over how it's going to sound from an onboard 
um, just from the computer, you know, and I don't have any control over how it's going to sound from a phone. I could tell them to, to step closer or further away in the screen, um, but that's about it. So, and, and you, you can hang out backstage as long as you want. Um, Facebook will erase your, um, your, uh, your show if you're 10, more than 10 minutes late. Um, it won't hold your, hold your place. Um, so like if it's, if it's really technical and we're having issues, you know, you have like a, you know, 10 minute window from when you schedule to like, just, just go. Um, but, um, yeah, I think you can have 10 people backstage at a time and, uh, they just changed the rules about how many people that you can have on the screen. And I believe it's actually 10 on the screen now, which is awesome. Um, which uh, is really good for like plays. A lot of my friends are doing readings uh, of plays and you know, 10 characters on a screen, fantastic. That's awesome. Hey, um, so can you uh, talk about, Jewel wants to know what about streaming pre-recorded video via StreamYard? Any tips or stumbling blocks? Uh, you can do that with the share screen, but you have to make sure that um, there's an audio setting. You have to make sure that you're share. You're also sharing the audio. Um, so I believe I saw that earlier. I ingested a lot of information on um, StreamYard recently. So I'm still, yay, more people backstage. <laughs> um, okay, so um, I'm sharing my screen. Um, I would like to share my screen here. I'm gonna actually remove this and shot, stop screen share so that I can see what my first settings are. So screen share. Um, some screens let you share audio. Look for share audio checkbox on the next window. Follow these steps to share a video with audio. Just gotta make sure to do that. Um, I never click don't show me these tips again because I might be having an off day and just not remember. And it's just really nice to be able to have those little tips now and then. So um, I'm not actually gonna share a screen, but that is how you would do it um, for, for a pre-recorded video. And, um, and that'd, be, that'd be so fun to just like, you know, come on live and, um, and introduce yourself and, and say, hey, I made this video, share the video. And then, and then maybe even like, yeah, chat with people afterwards after the video or whatever, that'd be so fun. Um, any more questions? These are good questions. Well, I was trying to look something up um, for Louise because this is, again, you know, I keep thinking we've got a lot of topics um, <laughs> that we could use mm -hmm. for a uh, future. But Louise is asking about uh, recommending a web-based video editing platform. Oh. And uh, boy, I, I don't know web web-based if anybody does drop them in the chat um i don't know web-based uh somebody keeps touting davinci resolve mm -hmm. which is through black magic design the folks that make that a10 mini and um i it's it's if you google davinci i think it's the first thing that comes up not <laughs> over the painter um, <laughs> davinci resolve and it takes you to and uh the black magic design website and i have not explored this i use adobe premiere but i've got some more advanced skills so i don't necessarily recommend it as a basic and i just use imovie and actually i do use a couple apps like the imovie app um i do there's a stop motion app that, that i really like using um so there's a lot you can do with apps um it's harder to overlay music I find that it's harder to, you know, navigate the little screen, <laughs> but, um, yeah. but yeah, I just use iMovie. Yeah, Brian, thanks, Brian. Brian Kalanick is saying, yes, yes, DaVinci Resolve is great. <laughs> cool. I'm going to use it for Swarfa. So that's great. I'll be okay. excited to see what they're up to. Um, hey, I have, um, I keep, I keep wanting to do this every time I, I, I like talk about um, StreamYard. 
is that I have a referral link. <laughs> Ta-da! Um, so you get money and I get money. I, you get a discount and I get a discount if you use that. Okay. Oh, except for I totally um, chatted that right to Katie Dahl. So Katie, I expect you to use it. <laughs> Here's to everyone. There you go. Ta-da! <laughs> Very cool. Are we, um, I, I, any other questions? Did I miss anybody? Raise your hands if you, if I did. Um, I feel like this is one of those things that you just got to dive in and try, right? Until you Absolutely. put your hands on it, watching somebody, but you make it look easy. Well, it, there's really not a lot of, um, you know, corners to turn. Like, honestly, if I wasn't, if I was a, mu a musician using OBS and I wanted to, uh, if I was, if I was doing music alive right now, which I'm not, I'm on a break, um, uh, hiatus, uh, what's it called? A uh, sabbatical. There we go. Um, <laughs> um, but if I am, if I, if I was a performing musician right now and just performing solo, I would probably use OBS. Um, if I was uh, performing and I wanted to share my performances with people, which I always recommend musicians do because you get that crossover promotion, you get that conversation and makes it interesting. Um, I would use StreamYard. If I was a venue, I would use StreamYard. It's just so simple um, and it doesn't require anyone to have anything fancy. You don't need an app if you're going to go on your phone. It's all web-based. It's all, I mean, you can't make many mistakes. There's nice little tiny add-ons. Like when I was thinking about this as a part two, I was like, well, there's not a whole lot deeper to go, but it's really nice to review stuff and, and also, you know, get those little things like the overlays on and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we just had our, um, you know, we had the Tech Talk on Restream and it did make me think of one thing that I did want to ask about, which I think I already know the answer to, but the, the cost difference comparatively, like what you can do, you have to pay a lot more to Restream to do the overlays, and, um, but Restream also has some, you know, you can stream anywhere, or, you know, it's, there's not a limit to how many places you can stream in their cheaper version. So there's so many, like, things you've got to look at on both platforms to figure out which one actually just as more of value to you, right? Mm -hmm. um, but Restream has a generated stream key that you can take to Zoom, which was, that was the big benefit to me in Restream since people are still doing the Zoom and that you can go from Restream to Zoom out to Facebook, out to, or the other way around. But yeah, you can use Restream. to StreamYard have a Zoom? I couldn't find anything when I Googled it. And I, I couldn't either. Um, there's always ways to break these things, though, like uh, break the uh, the guidelines. Um, <laughs> like they did have a note on um, on their FAQ that says, "Can I go right to um, Instagram?" And no, you can't um, because Instagram doesn't like any services. Uh, outside services kind of coming in and, and taking over. But there, but it right in there, it said, but there is a way to break this, but we're not going to tell you. <laughs> um, so there is always ways around if you, if you want to dig for it and, and, you know, read. I always recommend reading at least two posts, blog, you know, blogs or, you know, nerdy things about it before you dive in yourself. Cause People are going to have slightly different ways of explaining it. Um, but yeah, there's always ways to break it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Well, I think that that was really helpful to me personally. So I'm assuming you're all going to agree. So how about a big old uh, Amish or whatever you call this? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. For it is ASL. <laughs> No, it's not Amish. It's Quaker. It's the Quaker applause. Oh, is it Quaker too? Yeah. From Carrie Newcomer, yes. Apparently, it's Quaker. also ASL. Oh, of course. <laughs> speaking of ASL, um, yeah, speaking of ASL, um, we, you want to talk about that? And I have one more thing to promote. But yes. Sure. 
we're working on putting together a, um, an accessibility panel and um, we have an ASL interpreter um, and uh, Charlie as well, um, who is always willing to talk about um, life in a wheelchair, which is an uh, um, exciting way to be. <laughs> um, and uh, myself, and um, we're looking for some other folks to talk on the topic. Um, if you know of any folks um, that know about ADA, uh, that'd be awesome. Accessibility looks very different right now um, uh, on screen, but we also want to get back to live performances. So what are we going to do to make those changes um, and become more um, accessible? So um, yeah, so ASL, that's applause. For <laughs> and um, American Sign Language. And uh, we have a peer session coming up. Annie, will you talk on that? Yeah, sure. Um, so my chat's way up here. My, uh, we decided we've been talking a lot about the fact that we've been holding these separate peer sessions for artists and presenters. And now we've got folk DJs that are having uh, sessions. We're also having a, um, an agent, a booking agent um, peer session coming up on the 21st. So watch your emails for that. That one's going to be just for the agents this time. But what we have always wanted was now to start getting the conversations crossing between roles, you know, so we hope because I know the venues want to know what the artists are doing and the artists want to know and they have questions for each other. And I think we can all just kind of get together and have a big old party and that's happening on Thursday at two o'clock. If it gets crazy and out of hand, we'll, we'll set up breakout rooms so that like if some people want to talk about this topic, we'll send you over there, you know, so, but we'd really just like to pack the, pack the place and, and have a good old chat. So, so I think yeah, Thursday at 2 Eastern. Two Eastern. Yep. And uh, we'll be sending out another reminder on that. Um, next Tuesday's Tech Talk. Now, here's the thing. I was planning for this, um, but then when I closed out of the whole thingy mabobber with the StreamYard thingy, I accidentally closed all my browser windows. So, Dennis Kingsbury, I don't have your YouTube video up, but I'll send it out as a link with people so they can get pretty excited about it. But I'm going to spotlight this gentleman. Look into the camera that we can see your face. There he is. Hey. <laughs> This guy is going to bring us what we're going to call, uh, I can't remember what I said now, something about getting fancy with cameras on the cheap. So next week, um, Dennis Kingsbury is going to dazzle you with all his crazy wacky gear and cameras and hooking them up. And um, it's going to be really, really fun. So don't miss it. Um, we're excited to see you. I'm happy to see you right now. So I can't. All right, everybody, click your gallery view. This is the moment when we say um, thank you so much for coming and our abrupt uh, ending is always sad, but it's a beautiful day out, at least here in Michigan and hopefully wherever you are. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I hope we see you on Thursday and next week and after that and after that and keep in touch with us folks. We really, really love that you show up to these. Brianna, thank you again as always. Great info. Yeah. Thanks, y'all. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.